Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, an actual pure mono green deck. Hanging around, did okay, hits fast. What everybody likes to see. Uh, let's break her down. So we're starting off with Evolving Adaptive. One green uh, enters the battlefield with an oil counter. It gets plus one, plus one for each oil counter on it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature has greater power or toughness than Evolving Adaptive, put an oil counter on Evolving Adaptive. So anytime you drop a creature that has more defense or offense, he gets an oil counter, and that's essentially a plus one, plus one. So he gets big with just doing anything that's in the board. Uh, tail Swipe. Something I wanted with just quickness, something that gives you that gotcha moment. So when they plan to defend you can tail swipe one of their creatures out of the way and usually it's a good swing card so let's read her one green instant choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control if this spell was cast during your main phase that creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn then those creatures fight each other so it's a I mean, as we you go through this, you'll see this creatures I have can get quite big, and Tail Swipe can be a really quick, out of nowhere, kill that creature moment. Uh, Flourishing Bloomkin, one of the cards from the new set. So one green, one other for a zero zero, but Bloomkin's plus one gets plus one plus one for each forest you you control. Uh, disguise for one green and four other which means if you put it you can put it face down for three and if you pay its disguise it flips over and you pick two force cards put one into play and one into your hand the disguise ability is almost very rarely used uh, I don't think even in the six wins I got I used it once uh, I find disguise in itself slow three activations quite expensive when in itself is a two casting cost and it can get big fast you just pump it up for us, build it up, and it gets to be a threat. Sharp-Eyed Rookie. One green, one other for a 2-2 Vigilance. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, if its power is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's power, or its toughness is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's toughness, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Sharp-Eyed Rookie and investigate. Um, just like the Evolving Adaptive, creature comes out that's bigger than its power or its toughness, it gets counters, and then it also gives you clues, which are cards you can draw for two mana. So, seeing a theme here. They start small, but they get big. Fight rigging. I don't think a serious mono green deck can play without this card. There's just so much quickness in the meta right now, and if green doesn't find a way to swing uh, and get its own big turns... Yeah, I fight rigging is the way to do it. It's just cheap. It can get things out real fast. Plus, it puts plus one plus one counters on things, uh, which you know, if you're dealing with Kadama and whatnot, as we get there, it's just plays to your strength. And then, if you're going to use fight rigging, even if there isn't another dinosaur in your deck, I would still probably put four hammer skulls in there. Again, for one green, two other for a six six also known as my mono red stopper this thing comes out mono red just pulls its hair out trying to find ways to kill it or wastes a ton of resources trying to kill it um it really is just a great combo that and fight rigging usually means the swing turn is here kadama of the west tree one green two weather for a three three reach modified creatures you control have trample so oil tokens that get bigger is modified Sharp-Eyed Rookie, as it gets bigger, is becoming modified. Now, the Bloomkin doesn't get modified for when you drop a forest, but if you have to drop a fight rigging token on it, it is now modified. Anything modified gets trampled. Uh, and then, whenever a modified creature you control deals damage, combat damage to a player, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. So, that plays well into your Bloomkin. If your modified, modified creatures hit, Bloomkin's going to get bigger as those trees come into play. Uh, Defiler of Vigor. Two green, three others for a 6-6 six, six trample. As an additional cost to, to cast green permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost one green less to cast if you paid life this way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a green permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. 
more counters to fire or vicar with these cheapies they can come out quick especially if you're paying a little bit of life reduces that green which makes that a one casting cost that's a one casting cost that's a zero casting cost reduces it all even the nexus that is a great card and it affects permanents that come into play well there's only four cards that are not permanents so virtually everything you cast is going to activate that plus one plus one and it goes to all the creatures you have spreads that love spreads it fast and far Surak and Goreclaw. Two green, four other for a 6-5 trample. Other creatures you control have trample. When other non-token creatures enter the battle under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter. It gains haste until end of turn. I wanted this for the combination of haste and making my creatures trample. Um, and then they don't need the tokens even. So unlike Kadama, which needs a counter token, counters to make them trample, this just makes all your creatures trample. So... The Bloomkin gets trampled. That's gross. And if you drop it when this is already in play, it's now getting haste as well. Um, and then the piece that is this DOS, the Skull Spore Nexus. My favorite green artifact right now. Two green, six other. This spell costs X less the cast, or X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, create a green fungus dinosaur creature token with base power and toughness equal to the total number of power of those creatures. Tap 2, tap this artifact, double target creature's power until end of turn. It is a Benonkers artifact. So any creature they kill when this is in play, unless they're exiled, any creature you kill comes back as a creature. If it's a board clear, comes back as a creature. It is so tough to deal with these beasts when this card is in play two i tried three for a while i found it was almost too much but there are times where you just want this card it makes it so you're not afraid to lose your creatures you'll trade every day of the week um, it's just a beautiful card plus it doubles the power when you're dealing with creatures that have trample and then you're doubling their power it just gets disgusting fast uh, and then the lands are pretty basic again I'm always going to be playing with these because they're just good insurance and it's a land if you don't need it. And then 23 forests. The curve on this is a 3.0, so I put 25 lands here just to make sure you keep hitting those land drops. And it never hurts to just keep dropping these down when the bloomkins out. And that's it in a nutshell. I wrapped up six wins pretty quick with this thing. Um, give it a shot. It's pretty uh, snappy, pretty fast. And, uh, well, I mean... I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you uh, enjoy what I put out here. Subscribe if you do. Uh, give me a comment if you have any ideas yourself. And uh, hit that notification bell so you can uh, catch the next video when it comes out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great one. Later. Arena up against Death Cross. I guess we'll go with this. Come on, Death Cross. Show me how able you are to uh, enlighten my deck as to your powers. All right, goes first. Cliche time. Pain for me time. If I can survive, I'll be happy. No, not yet. Uh, surprising. No, not really. I have to wait this out though. The extreme power this guy could dish out. You gotta do it again though. Oh, fine. Let's do it again. Waste some cards on me, Death Cross.
words wasted, he says. Well then, what more can we do? Keeping all those cards from hitting maybe one. It's a lot of pain, you put it up there right away. Let's do it again. Come on over. I'm ready for you this time. No, I'm not. <laughs> what do you need to put your own there? Incredible. And here I am, barely able to do anything. Uh, yeah, the chomping speed. I mean, what more do you need when that's what you get, right? You're doing it again? Well, I mean, I got a block. I gotta see what you got. That's what I was hoping you'd do. Let's just end you right now. Waste that card and get it all the way from me. So gross. Our turn to hit back. What do you got? You can drop a man land and attack me. I can block that though. I think I got you, Death Cross. Not from a lack of trying though, he says. He's nobody's whipping boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you through. No. Whoo wee. Race to the finish. Well, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch us on the next match. Later. Hey again everyone. Welcome back to another match in the arena. Standard rank, best of one. Evo Fanatic is our opponent. And we shall go with what we have. We won't sleeper. Start getting some of our creatures out there. Start stacking things up. Well, he's not worried about hitting me or right, killing me with anything. I'm going to throw a card away on the Goreclaw, you're very far away. Alright, what can we do next? No, not blocking. If you want me to block, you're gonna have to put something else down. There you go. Just make her no more. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get a big defensive creature up there. Something he can't drown in Ikor. But it's black, right? He has more than enough ways to kill things. Stunning amount of ways to kill things. But not this one. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go with this. And this. And we're gonna hang now. We don't mind our creatures dying so much with the Nexus out. Though with them being mana hindered. There goes my other hammer skull, I suspect. Which is fine, this is fine. 100% I'm gonna block you. goes the rookie. In comes Savannah. A clue. We all could use a clue. 
Hello, Peter. Boy. I don't think you want to do that. Yep, that tree is just going to be annoying. Well, I think now's the time to run, right? Oh, let's actually draw a card. Let's see what we can get first. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> um, we'll just start with you, rookie. Double your power. Get myself a big piece of beefy creature. Smack him around. All the positives in the world. Next. Evil Fanatic, what do you got for me? That's a good card. Putting her right into play, too, for or less. She is a good baby. I mean, is it mono black? Who else could it be, right? The end. Well, there goes my Kadama. All three of them. At least it gets a draw card. Yeah, power. There's not much I can do with that, is there? No, the back gets to you. draw your card and take your life. You're about to block my creature or die, though. Yeah, I just need three mana. And over you guys go. Speed bump, thy name is Gix. Oof. I don't leave a mark. Yeah, yeah, it did. A crater mark. Alright. Nexus doing the flexus. Thanks for watching everyone. Let's catch us on the next match. Have a good one. Time for some more Magic Arena. We can soar. Best of one. Well, I will definitely go first. What you got, soar? Please don't make me sorry. Black. Pain. Pain. There goes a cut down. Goodbye, rookie. Before you even had the chance to flap your wings. Red, black. Ooh, extra pain. Well, time for your hammer skull. Not gonna cut down this one, though. You shouldn't let me do that. this out right away. This is just gross. And let's just attack him. Give him a wild heart attack. I don't care about that. That's fine. Well, let's do some damage since we're only going to be hitting once every two turns. And suddenly, Sor is sorry himself. So, what's next? Another hammer skull, maybe? Depends on what they put down, really. That could be dragons, what do you want? Not a bad choice.
Huh. I guess we will go with that. Another dragon out there it never hurts. Or another uh, dinosaur never hurts. We'll save it for now in case it does anything crappy. And if he does anything too slick, I'll just tail swipe it out of the way. But if he sees those, he will probably want to keep some defense. It's always good to put people on their heels right away. Control the pace. I'll leave my Nexus alone. It's, it's not bothering you, is it? It only just helped you get hit for 12. And it like resurrects things and makes problems. What the hell is that? What, what's really the problem? What you tossing? Oh yeah, Itali. Who knew? He has to be concerned with what's on the board already. Dinosaurs make things end quickly. And killing one of them just brings it back anyway. He won't be attacking. There's no way. So let's just help him out with that. We can get rid of that dragon. Now he knows he's done. Or at least he should. Those are the two dinosaurs. Whatever one you don't block, I'm doubling the next. That is game. Oh, Nexus. You're so fun. Alright. Thanks for joining us, everyone. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the match. Catch us on the next one. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for another match of... MTG Arena Standard Ranked. Oof, that is not a good start. Need quicker creatures, please. And an abundance of land means you. Now, if only I went first to make up for the mulligan. Well, we'll have to try better next turn. Well, let's go! So, uh, blue-white makes me sad. Let's see if we can put the pressure on before they end my life. Oh man, time today. Equal to the oil counters. Equal to the oil counters. All permits. Well. I guess we'll save our Kadama. In we go. You can block one, but I'm both. I took my creature out? Really? Oh, here comes the board clear this turn. Didn't want to let me have that land, eh? as planned or hoping I'd like to get that nexus out there that would make things quite ugly quite ugly indeed yeah Going to make things ugly. There, see the key to taking blue white out is to kill it before it can set up, right? 
just like we drew the plan up. Thanks for watching everyone. Let's skip off to the next match. Later. Thanks for joining us for another match of arena. Standard rank best of one. Ganjatron 500 is our opponent. Well, let's enjoy the going first feeling. One more land and we'll be rolling feeling. Red. Boo. The pain. Anybody else feel it? I feel it. I hope we draw one more green so they'll feel it. Attacks. Right. I will be walking. It's not this turn. And that's what we wanted. Get ourselves out some pure bait pain. Well, my living wall. Another one's coming too. Or maybe the fight rigging. Also a good play. Also a good play. 3-3. Three, three. Doing nothing. That is a sign you're in trouble. So let's bring out a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, Ganjatron 500. You see that wall going up around there, don't you? you? Can't be too happy about it. They're not. Mono Red doesn't like the beef. Proven time and time again. Dare I go for the sixth? Yeah, why not? I'm crazy. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Hello. More Magic Arena. Up against X Warlock X. Turn first, like that. So let's get our evolving adaptive out, drop our bloom kin second turn, and see what our opponent has in store for us. What more do you have, Warlock X? A oh, lot of pain, he said. You've only begun to feel the pain. My bloom king bloom and my adaptive run. Run adaptive run. Oh, what do you have for turn two X Warlock X? Where's that ten warlock ten? My Roman numerals. No, he has no play. Well my play then is to drop that land. And just go. do anything fancy you're gonna perish so I'm not worried about what that happens slapping them around is good bloomkin blooming flourishing one might even say what you got enters the black battlefield dies gets myself some badage yeah the bad is out And he doesn't want to attack again. I'm alright with that. Here we go for more. Well, I don't like that. So let's just get rid of that evangelist now. Yeah, enjoy your next pack creation. And I'm just going to hit you for four. He's getting bigger and bigger. Just by playing lands. But now you're in the meat of it, when you, yeah, so I'm glad I got rid of that guy nice and early. Warden in the sky. Have the inner sky. Hit me for one.
I was trying to get some damage in, right? Yeah, that's fine. What am I gonna do? Block it? So I can hit it for four right now. Let me guess a plus one, plus one, so let's get rid of that warden right now, please. I dislike its uh, pain abilities. This should help you decide what you want to do. Let's go. Doesn't want to block. Doesn't want to go down to one either. And craters. Well, that's six straight. She's a pretty fast deck, as you can see, eh, guys? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to make this into a video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, subscribe. I always enjoy seeing those numbers go up. And uh, give me a comment if you have any ideas. And uh, as usual, hit that bell button so you stay notified for the next match. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.